We continue to learn new information in the Sebring water crisis. Our news crews have been talking to those closest to the investigation. And here's what we know right now. Ohio's EPA director showed up unannounced in Sebring today. Craig Butler met with Mayor Pinkerton before going back to Columbus. And Valley Congressman Tim Ryan is asking that Butler be taken off the job. All of this is happening while people across Sebring continue to use bottled water. Residents can pick up that water at the community center. As we just mentioned, Ohio, Ohio's EPA director made a quick stop in Sebring today, but without him giving us a chance to ask him in-depth questions about the state's missteps in this situation. Now, my report Tuesday included Butler commenting from his office that the EPA had been too patient with issues like the water crisis in Sebring. Those problems have a local congressman calling for Butler's job. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti picks up the story from there. Needless to say, you know, I'm just livid about the situation that's happening in Sebring. Although it's in a neighboring district, Valley Congressman Tim Ryan is jumping into the fray over lead contamination problems in the Sebring water system. Following up last night's post on Facebook, he's demanding Ohio EPA Director Craig Butler resign over his staff's handling of the crisis. After you've known about it for months, or somebody in your organization, very high-level people in your organization have known about it for months, I think it, you got to go. I just think you got to go. EPA documents indicate officials had been aware of the lead problem since late summer, but sent repeated memos to the village water plant manager urging him to notify the community. Butler claims he learned of the issue only last week and immediately put out the word. And that people were drinking this water and bathing their babies in this water and did nothing and said, oh, that local person was supposed to tell. That's BS. Just saying today is the day that Craig Butler has to resign. I'm not sure that I'm there yet. Although State Senator Joe Schiavone has been just as critical of Butler and his agency, he tells me it's still too early to be calling for resignations. Mahoning County commissioners say there will be plenty of time to assess blame. And that all this political stuff can come second. Let's take care of our residents. One point all agree on, the state should have stepped in much sooner. If it was that important that they called, then they should have gotten in the car and come here. Right and notified them. For his part, Schiavone says he's working on legislation that would require the EPA to do just that in the future. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. WKBN and local lawmakers had asked Butler's office repeatedly to tell us when he was coming to Sebring. That didn't happen. And when we sent a strongly worded email after his visit, we were told we can sit down with him tomorrow in Columbus. I will ask him who made the mistakes, what punishment they will face, and have his answers for you here at 6 tomorrow night.